Uh, six to uh, four. Mm, hmm. <laughs> Not sure what this is. When I was in middle school, I played this game called 24. The premise was you were given a card with four numbers on it, in this case, seven, four, three, and one, and using those four numbers and just addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you have to make 24 out of them. So in this example, you could say seven times four is 28, 28 minus three is 25, 25 minus one is 24. Alternatively, you could also say seven times three is 21, four minus one is three, 21 plus three is 24. You could obviously play this game by yourself just like I did, but it's designed to be played as a competition. So the proctor would reveal a card and the first person to touch it would then have three seconds to say the final step of the solution, eight times three is 24, and then 15 seconds to say the remainder or rather the entirety of the solution. Eight minus five is three, three times one is three, eight times three is 24. When you get it correct, you would take the card. Because there's one dot on the corners, this would be worth one point. Uh, one tournament round has 12 one-point cards. It has 24 two-point cards, and then 12 three-point cards. And as you can imagine, the threes are supposed to be the most difficult, the twos are intermediary, and the one dots are supposed to be easy. I haven't played this game seriously since I was in middle school, but I recently found it at my parents' house when I was visiting them over the winter holidays. And now as an adult, my first thought went to, is there a way to exploit the competition rules to give you a competitive advantage when playing this game? And I do think I found something that, had I known about this in middle school, uh, would have made me a much better player. Maybe more disliked, <laughs> but better in terms of what the rules allow. So I mentioned earlier that when you touch a card, you have three seconds to give the final step of the solution, right? Eight times three is 24. The reason for this rule is because the game's developers didn't want you to be able to just touch a card and figure it out on the spot. They wanted you to know the solution by the time that you touched it. While three seconds may sound like a short period of time, it's really not, especially in the context of solving these one dot cards. So my thought process was, okay, what if you were playing around and every single time a one dot appeared, even if you didn't know the solution, could you tap it, figure out the final step in three seconds, and then go on to solve it? Basically, if you see a one dot card, just touch it. That's my strategy, I, I wanna see if it works. If you take longer than three seconds to give the final step of the solution, or longer than 15 to give the full solution, you get a penalty. And if you get three penalties in a round, you are done from the round. You still keep all the points you got, but you can no longer participate in the round. Can I get through 12 one dot cards in the first three seconds of the solution without accruing three penalties? I think so, and I wanna try that with a stopwatch that I've got right here as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this card off and then I'm just going to, the second that I see the card, start the timer, give my solution, and then stop the timer and see if it's within three seconds. If not, then I'll give myself a penalty. And if it is, then I'll say the rest of the solution for the card and move on. Something else I looked up on their official rule site, which is very important. When you're solving, you don't have to say three times eight is 24. You can just say three times eight, which in the context of the strategy I'm using, is super helpful. I think when I was a kid, I didn't know that. I always would say like three times eight is 24. So let's see if I can break that habit. All right, I'm gonna start by moving the first card off and uh, let's see if I can do this or if I eat my own words. Here we go. Three times eight. Okay, so within three seconds. Nine minus eight is one. Four minus one is three. Three times eight is 24. One down, here we go. Three times eight. Okay, yeah, within three seconds, clearly. Um, eight minus five is three, three times one is three, three times eight is 24, great. Three times eight. <laughs> I swear, they're not all three times eight, but uh, eight minus six is two, two plus one is three, three times eight is 24. 16, eight, 18 plus six. Okay, I barely got that one, but I'm also not sure if I, yeah, 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 18 plus six. Seven plus five is 12, 12 plus six is 18, 18 plus six is 24. That one was close. I'm sure if that happened in a real tournament setting, I would have been, again, I would have been given a hard time. And if I were playing this in a tournament and using the strategy, I probably would have brought my watch to show that I'm not cheating. Um, I'm just exploiting, I'm not cheating. So we're still good on that one. All right, uh, 16 plus eight, there we go. Eight plus eight is 16, four plus four is eight, 16 plus eight is 24. Three times eight. Eight minus four is four. Four minus one is three. Three times eight is 24. Six times four. Okay, so eight minus two is six. Six minus two is four. Six times four is 24. 
six times four. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm, I think I'm gonna get a penalty on this one. Let's see. Oh, you know what this one is? I think it's 25 minus one. I think it's five times five is 25, four minus three is one. 25 minus one is 24. Um, I have about 15 seconds technically. Let's see if I can get six times four. I don't think I will. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. So I have one penalty so far. If I get three, I'm out for the round. Okay, so this one doesn't count. Uh, next one, six times four. Okay, so eight divided by four is two. Six minus two is four. And six times four is 24. Six times four. Two divided by two is one. Four times one is four. Six times four is 24. Six times four. Okay, eight divided by two is four. So four times one is four. Six times four is 24. <clears throat> I think there's just one left. Six times four. All right, yeah, you see how easy this is? <laughs> like the one dots, you really can just like tap even if you don't know the answer because it, they're just very, very easy. And the next one is a two dot. So like I basically went 11 for 12 and um, the strategy worked. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I did play like this when I was in middle school. I think I was like so afraid of getting the penalty flags that I just wanted to make sure I knew the solution. But the other thing is that these penalty flags were set after the rounds, right? As long as you can successfully do what I just did, I don't think there is a big downside to using this strategy. Now, technically, there are the back sides of these one dots and then the front and back of 12 other one dot cards. So that's still 36 potential cards remaining. But I feel like I can safely generalize my performance in these to the other one dot cards. After I filmed the video, I thought, why bother generalizing when I could just spend five to 10 more minutes and actually do it myself? So what you're seeing right now is me going through all of the remaining 36 one dot cards. Before I mention the results, I'll just say that if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing and turning on notifications if you haven't already. And if you're extra so inclined, feel free to support me on Patreon. I really appreciate all the support and it does help out me and my channel. So here are the results from when I did the other one dot cards grouped into rounds. As you can see, this strategy still worked really well I didn't get three penalties in any one round, though admittedly, I did come close in the final set of 12 one dots. All right, back to the video. Right now, I'm also kind of curious to know how I'd fare on these two dot cards. I guess I'll just try those and see how it goes. I did already see this one two dot. You're just going to have to trust me and say that I did see that it was 21 plus three in the first three seconds. Um, but yeah, let's try it on the two dots and see what happens. I have a feeling this is not going to go as well. 14 plus 10, 14, 10, 24. Uh, six times four, six divided by three is two, two plus two is four, six times four is 24. 28 minus four, seven times four is 28, minus four is 24, times one, you know. Uh, 12 times two, ah, uh, okay, I got it, but it was after three full seconds. Um, two, 12. So I got it after three full seconds. That's one penalty. Next one, six times four. Nine minus five is four. Four times one is four. Six times four is 24. Six times four. <laughs> yeah, some of them are like really, really simple. Seven divided by seven is one. Five minus one is four. Six times four is 24. Three times eight. Yep, one, three, eight. Six times four. One, six, 24. Okay, here we go. Uh, six to uh, four, mm, hmm. <laughs> Not sure what this is. I'll let, the, I'll let the stopwatch run so you can see how much time it takes me. 14, 21, dude, I have no idea what this is. Oh, shoot, it's 14 plus 10. Uh, two times seven is 14, three plus seven is 10. That was easy in retrospect. So I got two penalties. Let's see how far I can go without getting a third. Uh, three times eight, seven minus three is four, four minus one is three. Three times eight, six minus three is three, three times one is three, three times eight. Well, that's my third penalty. What is this? Oh, it's 18 plus six, because the one and one is two times nine is um, six. If there were 12 two dot cards per round instead of 24, this would probably be a viable strategy for the two dots as well. Um, but as you can see, like the two dots are a little more difficult or at least not as extremely easy as the one dots are. So I probably wouldn't use this strategy if we were playing in a game unless 
there were something like only 10 cards remaining in the deck, then I might just go for it. But uh, this works really well with the one dots, not as much the two dots. Just for fun, let's also see how far we get in the three dots before I flag out and get three penalties. I'm sure it'll be much, much faster. So I'm just gonna start the stopwatch and let's see how it goes. 26 minus two, nope, nope, that's wrong. Oh crap, I was on the right track though, it's 12. Minus 12 times 2, because 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 times 2. I was on the right track. Okay, so that's one penalty. Not off to a good start. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay, that one I actually got within 3 seconds. 8 minus 4 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Sometimes these three, these three dots aren't as difficult as you might expect them to be. Um, but, you know, it, it varies. Okay, so I got 1. 6. Mm, mm, 20. Mm. <laughs> what is this card? Oh, it's 20 plus 4. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 4. So I've gotten one three dot <laughs> and two penalties. So this is not going too well. Let's see if I flag out now or continue it. Uh, 6 times 4. Okay, that one was pretty easy. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 minus 1 is 4. 6 times 4. 7 minus 4 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. 3, and I'm done. <laughs> okay, yeah, so obviously this really wouldn't work too well in the 3 dot cards. Um, I got, I think, 3 3 dot cards before I flagged out, so my flag to success rate was 1 to 1 in the 3 dots, where it was much better in the 1 and the 2 dot cards. But if I were playing in another 24 tournament again as a 25 year old and not a 13 year old. Whenever I saw a one dot card, I would just touch it. And then I'll have three seconds to say it. And I'm almost positive that the proctor at the table would give me a lot of grief and maybe the other students would. And I would be like, mm, this might make me unpopular, but check the rules. What I'm doing is legal. So uh, here's a stopwatch if you need to use it. And I will be hated, but I will probably win all of the one dot cards in that game without flagging out. So that's kind of all I had for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you ever play this game or if you know someone who is playing it, feel free to pass this video onto them. Let me know if it helps them out or not. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day. Oh, I have to do that for both cameras because I'm using both. Okay, wait. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.